IPMT which helps in calculating the interest per loan payment. Why calculate the IPMT or why use the IPMT? It helps us in calculating the interest paid on a loan. Okay, it lets you find the amount of interest you pay in a year, uh, which can also write, which you can also often write off in your tax return. Right, interest is tax tax deductible. So this would be really helpful to you if, with the help of these functions, you could find out the principal and the interest component of your loan. In this example, we are going to calculate the principal component and the interest component of an individual payment. So as you see over here, we have the required, this is the annual interest rate. We have the period, we are on period one. The total number of periods are 360 and the 10 lakhs, sorry, the principal is dollar 10 lakhs. Now let's find out the interest component. For this, we are going to use the IPMT formula. So is equal to IPMT. The notation says it returns the interest payment for a given period of an investment based on periodic constant payments at a constant interest rate. It's the same, so we'll quickly do this. The interest rate, we want the monthly, so we divide it by 12, comma periods, comma NPER, comma PV. So this is the interest component. If you have a look at these amounts, you'd see that the principal component is very small as compared to that of the interest right now what happens is over the life of the loan the principal and the interest component will change as of now we are at period one the total number of periods are 360 which is 30 years it's a 30 year loan right so as of now we are just at period one so over the life this component will change you po uh, you pay more interest at the beginning of the loan as you see now, you're paying more interest as compared to the principal at the beginning of the loan and more principal towards the end. Okay, so for like, I'll just show you this with the help of an example. Let's change the period from 1 to, let's say 120. We are at period 120. That would be 10 years of the 30 year loan. Okay. Now we see that the period has, uh, sorry, the principal has gone up and the interest has slightly come down it was 5000 before right so it has come down the interest has come down and the principal has gone up comparatively let's again change this from 120 to 180 which is exactly the midpoint of the loan see now the principal is catching up but it's not quite there for the interest okay and then at the last let's change this period to 360 which is the end of the period of your loan okay now if you see we are paying almost exclusively majorly the principal and practically no interest right we are not paying we are paying very very marginal interest if you see over here okay so this is how uh, we can calculate the interest and principal component of a loan okay so calculating the amount of principal and interest you have or will have of on your loans reflects both the equity you have in your purchase and the amount of money you can write off a, uh, you can write off in your taxes so this is how it helps so always be sure to watch your interest expense carefully this is how this function can really help you out